The name Emmanuel Lasker might ring a bell to you. He was the World Chess Champion for 27 years. The longest reign of any World Chess Champion in history from 1894 to 1921. However, today's video is not based around him, it's based around Edward Lasker, who was the seventh cousin to the former World Chess Champion. Edward was an engineer and an author who wrote many books related to chess, checkers, and go, but important to highlight was also that he was an international master in chess. Today we're going to go over his best game, known as the Fatal Attraction, famous for being one of the most beautiful checkmate sequences ever played. Hope you enjoy. In this position here, 10 moves into the game, Edward reaches this nice position as white, with what seems like quite a nice attack, and black blunders by playing the move queen to e7. This is the start of a beautiful tactical sequence. This is the importance of always calculating your forcing moves first, no matter how crazy or out there they look, because you never know what you're going to find if you keep going forcing move by forcing move down a rabbit hole you might end up finding something that you didn't expect to find i recommend that you pause the video here to try to find out how you would continue as whites here lasker decides to sacrifice the queen can you sack the queen oh 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 he sacked the queen ah, ah, he sacked the queen this is not only a beautiful queen sacrifice but it is the only move that works. White takes advantage of a blunder and now has a winning advantage leading to forcing checkmates. But obviously you have to see the checkmate through. So again, if queen takes h7 is not what you thought the answer was, pause the video here and see how white continues to force a checkmate. Again, always look for this forcing moves first. The order of forcing moves are checks, captures, and threats. If you can give a check while capturing a piece, that's just bonus points. And here, black has two options, to either play king h8 or king h6. If black plays king h8, then knight g6 is a beautiful knight checkmate where both knights close off both the escape squares for black. So black's forced to play the move king to h6. And now it's important to figure out how to keep continuing with the checks. White wants to use as many of his pieces as possible while working together to continue to drive the king forward. With this bishop extremely strong in this diagonal, I place the move knight e to g4 check, forcing the king to the only legal move, g5. And now with the bishop and the knights in perfect place to restrict the king as much as possible, it's time to bring out a new attacker into the position, h4 check. h4, forcing the king to move to f4, and now white slowly luring black's king into white's territory, getting ready for a beautiful checkmate setup. Edward played the move g3 check. Again, bringing another attacker into the game while continuing to lure the king towards white's side of the board. King f3 is forced. And now with the knights and the pawns covering all the fourth row escape squares, white's bishop, that was once doing a lot of work on the d3 to h7 diagonal, is not really needed on that diagonal anymore. So therefore, Edward decided to play the move bishop to e2 check, forcing the king to g2. And now, pause the video to find the checkmate continuation. White plays rook h2, forcing the king down to the first row. This is crazy. The king started at g8 and has ended up all the way on g1. And here, Edward played the move king to d2, checkmate. But I think the cherry on top would have been queenslide castling into checkmate when your opponent's king is on the first row. What a beautiful sequence from Edward, utilizing literally every piece on the board, working together to come up with a checkmate, sacrificing the queen, driving Black's king all the way from the eighth row down to the first row for a mate in seven. Hope you guys enjoyed witnessing the sequence if you've never seen this game before. Hope you guys enjoyed the tactic of the day, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.